Hey everyone, this is Unlock24, and today we're going to be talking about one of the decks uh, from the, uh, I guess, the top list that they released in the KC report yesterday. Uh, but before we do that, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, I guess, the uh, the notifications that we have on here. So, rank those updated, you'll get a, um, let's just check out the recommended cards for your top 10 decks. Well, it's basically one of those stamp things, so nothing really uh, changing in that. So, 72 hour sell, so it's... Not a great sell. I wouldn't suggest that you purchase anything from that 72-hour sell. Uh, it's decent, and you only get like 20 gems for the first one. Uh, 50, and then one SR after 10 plus. I guess the the 10 plus plus DSR is decent, uh, but everything else, I think, you should just wait for the uh, uh, for the next sell. Uh, and then the deck that we're going to be talking uh, about today is this one. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. I will be gifting a, a PS4, I, I think it was January the 1st, uh, to one of my subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Uh, well, this is a version of it. And uh, this is the one that I ended up playing after I played that exact list that the, that particular guy was playing. They didn't give us his name, so uh, we really don't know if that that's the exact deck list, I guess. Let me see if it's this one. Alright, so it's going to be this one. So this is the deck that he was playing, or the whatever, whoever it was. He was playing two Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, uh, three Bujinji Cranes, uh, three Yamatos, three Mikus uh, Mikasuchi, two Bujinji Hair, and then a, uh, a Sinua and a Turtle. Uh, for the spell, it's just a single Rare Value Traps, triple Crystal Raigeki. Uh, and then uh, Sing Sing Hu and a Bujin Regalia the Sword. So overall this deck is, it's not, I don't know how this guy did so well with this deck. I don't know if it was a troll pick after his, uh, he had played for a while. Uh, overall the deck is decent. It does need w uh, more Crystal Beast I think in order for it to work. Somewhat decent and you're always, always wanting a Yamato. Most of the time... Uh, the, the way that traditional Bujins run is with uh, Tice of the Brethren. And Tice of the Brethren, uh, Brethren gets you that Yamato that you always need. Uh, with this particular version, you're always missing it. You're always needing it. Uh, and the deck is kind of it's kind of slow. Uh, I thought it was going to do a little bit better than it did. But uh, while I was testing it, and I did test it for a really, really long time. I played a ton of games, and I was just taking a ton of losses. So uh, after a while, I, I decided to switch it up. Uh, because I was, uh, if you're going against a blue eyes, you're you're gonna be depending a lot on Crystal Raigeki and a um, Jinji Crane, and a lot of the times you, you don't have it. Uh, after the first time that you activate the Transcendent Crystal, especially if you want to have uh, the Rare Value active, and uh, after that you're not gonna be able to use the skill again because you only run uh, two Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, and if for whatever reason you use the uh, the crystal regeki early in the game then your rare value is just completely dead and other than the crystal regeki there's really not much other uh, defensive cards I mean the hairs somewhat decent at defending uh, but overall you you're still always needing the extra trap cards uh, this thing I don't know I think it, it should be dropped to zero maybe because it's always just sitting in your hand um, I'm not sure if the guy played a ton of uh, really, really slow decks, but this deck wasn't working for me. Um, maybe I don't have the uh, the mindset that he had or the skill that he had, maybe. But uh, I don't know about that because I've been playing for a really, really long time. And the uh, the deck just wasn't working, so I might have uh, modified it a little bit. And this is what I, what I ended up playing for a while. And this one was actually working just a little bit better. Not not by a lot, but it, it, it had way more options. And uh, for the, the version that I built, there was three Pegasus, three Cranes, three Amatos, two uh, Mikasuchi, one Quillen, and three Centipedes with uh, almost the exact same uh, spell and trap setup with one rare value, uh, three Crystal Ray Gekis, and one uh, Sing Zeng Hu. Uh, anyway, this particular version, it does allow you to use Transcendent Crystal uh, a little bit more than the, uh, than the other version. And the fact that I'm running the three centipedes and the um, and the qu quillen, it's actually it's it's a little bit better than the other version again. And uh, you always disc discard the centipedes, uh, bring out the crystal uh, 
Pegasus, and then you said the Regeki, and if you have a Yamato, most of the time it's going to be a free win because the next turn you're going to be able to either uh, destroy a back row or if you have a uh, Equilin, you're going to be able to destroy a face-up monster. Uh, and so this particular version, it's a little bit more streamlined. It's a little bit better in my opinion, uh, or maybe it's a little bit better for my playstyle. I'm not saying that the... Uh, the other deck was completely terrible, but I guess it, it just didn't work for me. And this version was just way, way overall better. Um, you were always had something to do during your turn. Um, you didn't have the uh, the problem with the rare value as you did with the other one, where most of the time it was uh, just sitting in your hand because you are running the third Sapphire Pegasus. And running the third uh, Pegasus, it, it's a world of difference. Uh, you can activate, like I said, the Transcendent Crystals uh, more than once. Especially if you only, uh, in the first hand, you only did it for one. And then on the second hand, you can always do it for, uh, or the second try, you can always do it for two. So I, I don't think I recorded any. Let me see if I saved any replays. But I don't think I I did. And I deranked a ton when I was playing uh, with the other one. And I'm really, really, really uh, low rank. And I think that says a lot about the, uh, the, either the deck or me. I'm not really sure which. Uh, but um, okay, so I didn't record any uh, <laughs> any replays. But uh, anyways, th that is my opinion on that particular deck. It's really it, it doesn't do that well. Even or maybe it was that I was playing in really low ranks and they didn't really care. They just uh, straight up attacked. And uh, this is a different version. But uh, anyway, th those are my thoughts on that particular deck. Tomorrow I'm gonna be playing with that Mermel deck. Uh, I think I already have it built. So. Uh, do check back tomorrow to see how how good that deck is or how well I played. I, I, I will try to get you some replays for that. Uh, I think I should have the time for it. And uh, if not, we'll just talk about the deck, I guess. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like. And like I said, I will be doing a, um, I'll be gifting a PS4 to one of my subscribers. So do subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.